Johnny here for Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. So today what I'm going to be doing is reviewing the beautiful vehicle right behind me. Wait, did you think I meant the Austin Martin? Oh no, no no, I'm a truck guy. I love Ford trucks. So I'm going to be reviewing this antimatter blue 2021 King Ranch. Excited to do this review because well first of all this is one of the Bronco colors and I want to be able to show it to you live in person so this is antimatter blue it was actually the color I was going to order my Bronco with but when I saw it in person it's a lot darker than I expected so I want to do this review to get to show you this color as it relates to the Bronco and helping you pick out your Bronco color and I'm also doing this review because well I felt compelled to just recently, I watched a review from one of my favorite YouTubers, and they reviewed the F-150 truck. They gave it, gave it their famous score, and throughout the entire video, they're talking about how great the truck was. And then, well, for example, uh, they gave it the lowest mark possible on, you know, innovation. And I disagree. Uh, and I'm going to be covering in this video all the new aspects that the F-150 has gotten. It's actually 97% of the truck is completely brand new. Now, of course, I will cover all the engine options and their specs. I'm going to cover what's been going on with the suspension, the frame, and this is the best selling truck. It's the 14th generation, and I hope you enjoy this full review. Last time, a truck company tried to completely redesign and offer the market a completely different truck. Well, how would I describe it? I'd describe it as Ken and Barbie's truck during a period in which in their life they were on some pretty serious hard drugs and that's the Pontiac Aztec. Now that truck was completely new, it was completely different and it was completely awful. If you own one, I'm really sorry. It, your, your truck's just not very good looking. Now, this truck, it's been an, an amazing sales success. It's its 14th generation, and I don't think that, you know, completely revamping it would have been the best idea, nor do I think we should criticize the truck for having some similarities with the old model. But now, let's jump in to all the new changes. And I'm, what I'm gonna tell you right now and right here is that this vehicle that we have right here, it's, the changes are actually pretty tremendous. It's like taking, let's say, someone who's just going off to play university football and they get to university and then comparing them seven years down the road when they're in you know, the NFL. So this truck is beefed up and I look forward to talking to you about that. So I promised you that the truck is beefed up and now we're gonna get into that. But first I'm gonna you know, explain why some of my favorite YouTubers are saying that the truck is you know, really not innovative and the same. Well, I think you know, Ford gave out the King Ranch as the first model for people to review. And when you go from a truck that had chrome on it before to a truck that has chrome on it now, well, the chrome does lend itself to looking similar. But, you know, that stops at the King Ranch model. And the King Ranch model does have a lot of neat little added visual features to make sure that, you know, it's, it's not the same. And I'm going to be pointing that out. But first, I'm going to start with the engines. Now, the engines have gotten a beef they've been beefed up so you've got you know the 3.3 liter v6 that has no turbo and it has 290 horsepower and 265 pound feet of torque so you know if you just want a base truck you know that's a good engine for an xl and what's really impressive and where we're beefed up is that this engine now hauls or tows 8200 pounds so that's definitely beefed up and that's new. Now the 3 liter power stroke diesel has 250 horsepower and 440 pound feet of torque. That's some really good torque and if you're looking for a fuel efficient engine, it's a great option. Mind you, this engine does come with a premium to the price so it's going to add to the price. 
and uh, maintenance and repairs are, if, when they're due, are gonna be more costly than on a petrol engine. Now, one of my favorite engines is the engine that's gonna be in the Ford Bronco, and that's the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. Now, that's the engine that's gonna be in my Bronco, and on the F-150, it makes 325 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque and that torque is made at only 3,000 RPM. So really powerful, really low end, and it too pulls more than it did on the 2020 model. And that's actually because of a little thing on the rear axle that I'm gonna be talking about. It's got a three quarter floating rear axle. So I'm gonna get into that a little bit later in the video. First, let's continue talking about our engine options because boy do we ever have a lot of engine options so we've got the 5 liter v8 for all of you people out there that love the idea of having an eight cylinder and you know a great sounding engine now of course with the six cylinders you can always go with you know mbrp uh, exhaust change the exhaust and you'll get a pretty pretty great sound out of it but the 5 liter undoubtedly has an amazing sound i've got mustang videos where i start my mustang and i think it'd be Hard to argue that that's not an incredible sound. Now that 5 liter has 400 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque and it makes that torque at higher range around uh, 4,250 RPM. I'll uh, be putting up the spec sheets uh, later on in the video but it's making that torque at a higher level than the 2.7 liter. And it's one of the things I love about the 2.7 liter. Now, a fantastic engine and a huge beef in power comes from the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 engine. This thing's now making 400 horsepower and 500 pound feet of torque. How can you say that this truck is basically the same as the 2020 model when just when we're talking about engines, we're getting some major changes. And the biggest change I've saved for last, the biggest change is the 3.5 liter power boost. Now that's like a 3.5 liter EcoBoost, but it has an electric engine added to it. And what Ford, how Ford's describing it, what they're calling it is a power boost full hybrid V6 and that's because the hybrid aspect of it or the electric engine is a standalone engine. It's separate. It's not just some little contraption they added onto the motor. Now this thing is crazy powerful. 430 horsepower and 570 pound feet of torque. That is crazy power. That's you know that's your NFL player and you know what we were running in the past would be more like, you know, it's a, a good NFL player, but the truck has changed. We're getting incredible, pow incredible power. We've had a huge leap, and that also brings a huge leap in fuel economy because that power boost engine, that hybrid engine that has, you know, an electric motor added to it can get you up to 700 miles of range and get 700 miles of range out of 135 or 136 liter fuel tank and you know I, I love the idea of this because you're getting great fuel economy without the extra cost of buying a diesel engine and later down the road the possible you know well of course maintenance is more expensive on diesels and usually they don't break and they last a really long time. But if they do, whoa, watch out, you're in for a, a lot of costly troubles. So the most noticeable thing about this new truck is the new tailgate. And I'm gonna describe and give you a full rundown of the tailgate in just a moment. But first, I wanna talk about the least noticeable thing about the new F-150. And the least noticeable thing about the 2021 F-150 is the frame. Now they have used the same frame, however, it is heavily re revised. The frame is now one inch wider, causing the suspension points to be changed. And with the truck now sitting lower, the aerodynamics have improved, making this the most aerodynamic F-150 ever. Also, the new F-150 uses automatically deploying active air dam 
and it's also using brand new active shutters to help with aerodynamic drag. So, you know, this is the most aerodynamic F-150 ever. We've got a heavily rev revised suspension to get you a wider track. And of course, the tailgate, you know, that's a lot easier to see, but with that new frame and also, you know, that new frame and combined with the fact that we've got a three quarter floating rear axle. Now, a, a three quarter floating rear axle is pretty much getting very close to the same setup that a Super Duty has. Now, a Super Duty has a full floating rear axle with two bearings. The brand new rear axle that comes on the F-150, if you get the, the heavy towing package, is actually a one bearing, three quarter floating rear axle. So, you know, this thing can now tow up to 14,000 pounds. I promised you this truck was beefed up. I promised you that it was new and innovative. And there you have it, not just more power coming from the motors, but you're getting more towing across all those motors as well when you go with the heavy payload package because of that rear three quarter floating rear axle. And payloads because of that are you know also fantastic. Your payloads are gonna be ranging from about you know 1,800 pounds to 2,200 pounds when you're looking at a six and a half foot box like we have right behind me and a super crew. That's the big four door model. The, 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 the living room model, we could call it, because it's got a ton of space in the back. And the dimensions and the volume, however, in the cabin haven't changed at all. We've got the exact same interior dimensions and volume as we had in 2020. And you know, to be fair to uh, my favorite uh, reviewers, maybe that's why they kind of felt like they're in a similar, a very similar machine. Now, with the heavy payload package that you can add, on the F-150s, you can now get up to 2,640 pounds with a 4x4, like I have right behind me, or 2,880 pounds on a 2x4 model. But the heavy payload package does necess necessitate a certain look to your truck. You're gonna have 18 inch uh, silver painted aluminum mags so you know you can't go wild with the look you can't get a sport model but I'm gonna be covering that in another video when I actually review the sport model F-150 so I just want to talk a bit about the tailgate back here now on the King Ranch I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this in the video I'll try to get some close-up photos but I just love the little diamond cutting they did in each of the letters now when you get to the King Ranch logo, just to talk to you a bit about that because there are a lot of King Ranch logos on this vehicle. They're a bit everywhere. That's actually the logo for the King Ranch that it's a real ranch. It's huge. It's down in Texas and that's the logo that they used to stamp or mark their, their cattle. Now the logo, what it really is, is a rattlesnake because you know, well down in Texas there are rattlesnakes and that's the ranch's logo. Some things certainly haven't changed about the King Ranch. For example, it's history. Now, the King Ranch was originally about the size of Rhode Island. That is a huge cattle ranch. And how did we get to having a truck named after an actual ranch? Well, at one point this ranch, you know, year after year would ask Ford for quite a good number of F-150s, and well, trucks, Super Duties, and whatnot. They, you know, they needed trucks for this huge state-sized ranch. And at one point, what Ford did, of course, is they started using the leather from that cattle ranch in the trucks going to that cattle ranch, and they realized, hey, maybe this could be a success. And boy, is it ever a success. That's new and that's pretty cool. Now that every cow on the ranch has moved out of the way because of that wonderful back backup chime that kind of sounds like a Tonka truck backing up, well, now we can get right into talking about the brand new tailgate. And everything about this tailgate is new. First of all, you've got a workstation. The workstation, interesting enough, back here, this is nylon mixed with glass. So Ford, I guess, is recycling 
must be that they're recycling glass. I know they're on a recycling uh, beat these days. And with this comes a ruler here in both centimeters and inches. And when you, you know, this is an option that's, you know, it's, it's not tremendously expensive. It's uh, 800 Canadian or, you know, probably about five, 600 US, but it does come with the ladder. a pole for balance so you don't have to be an acrobat to get into the bed of your truck and you know something that I personally find quite cool is the drink opener right here so if you're out camping and you're thirsty or you know if you're having a bit longer of a lunch break on the construction site you can open a certain type of favorite beverage right there now we also have C clamp holders, they're, they're clamp holders right here because what Ford was finding is that people were cutting right off their tailgate. So now you not only can measure things off your tailgate, but when you've got your clamps in right here, you can rest your wood and just cut right off and not damage your tailgate. So I think that's pretty innovative. They're trying to think of everything, even right down to the left side of the tailgate right here, the driver's side, you've got sp spots for a pen and pencil so they don't go sliding around. So this bed is, this tailgate is uh, pretty neat. You know, there, there is the fact that the ladder and the post are the same from the 2020 model, but of course, you know, Ford has said that 97% of the truck is new, and I guess that falls into the 3% category of not new. So for new innovation on the F-150, even the XLT F-150, you can have tow packages that come with 360 camera. And you can also have tow packages that even come with the camera mounted on the back light here. So this is a light to put light on your box, but right here is a camera to look down on your fifth wheel. Now, sometimes people on the internet comment and kind of jokingly laugh, how can you use an F-150 as a fifth wheel? Well, if you're a camper, you certainly can, and there's actually a lot of campers using F-150s with a fifth wheel attachment. So what this camera makes easier is, well, camping life, because you can be backing up without relying on some a spotter. And you know, spotters can get distracted. Their phone rings, some nature, a deer goes by, something, you know, interesting good looking walks by and you scrap your tailgate you scrap your back of your truck now all on your own you don't have to rely on anyone you've got the 12 inch screen which is also available not just on the king ranch and lariat models but you get a 12 inch touch screen which your backup camera shows up on on even the xlt 302s and while the other xlts all come with an 8 inch touch screen so this camera, I think, is gonna be hugely useful for anyone who wants to do a fifth wheel attachment. And with the high payloads of this truck that are often playing around 21, 2200 pounds, or with the heavy payload package around 2700 pounds, you certainly can have some fifth wheel fun. And for anyone who's thinking of commenting, you know, is this guy crazy? What is he doing, standing in an unprotected box? Well, guess what? I'm Johnny and I'm all about car care, so I'm in my socks and I'm keeping this bed pane beautiful and protected. Well, let's talk power plugs on the new F-150. So you can get your new F-150 for not very much money. You can have 120 volt or 400 watt plug right back here. Now, your other options are to actually have, where everyone's calling it a generator, but essentially uh, what occurs is for you know, a small price, it's very reasonable, it's around $1,000. Every motor except for the 3.3 .3 liter V6 can come with the option of having a con magical contraption that'll use your engine as a generator. So that means you can run all sorts of stuff off the back of your vehicle. Your engine runs as a generator. Then you have a power inverter that allows the power to come back here. So you have a multitude of plugs. You even have the big plug that you could, you know, 
test out a fridge, a used fridge, before even bringing it home. So depending where you live, you know, if you're buying used appliances or tools, you can test them before paying for them. So that's really neat, and that is a fantastic innovation that Ford is bringing to the game. And I'm really excited about that because, you know, let's say you have a cottage and you don't have power hooked up to it. Now, if there's still electrical appliances in your cottage, you could run that all off of your truck, or if your house loses power, you could heat your house off of your truck. Now, I'm reading online and it seems like on a full tank of gas, uh, come, you know, people are, journals are speculating that you have about 64 hours of uh, generator power running off of your truck. So that's really neat. It's going to be really useful. And Ford is actually saying that you could even run a jackhammer off the generator. Now your generator options. So if you opt for the 3.5 liter power boost, that's the hybrid engine. You're going to get a 35 kilowatt electric motor with a 1.5 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. Now that is, you know, a really great deal because with that engine option, it doesn't cost a fortune. It's about two, three thousand dollars more. You're getting the generator and you're getting a 2.4 kilowatt or 2400 watt generator. Now, other than the 3.3 liter V6, the, the non-turbo engine with the least amount of power, all the other engines you can add a two kilowatt or 2000 watt generator to it. And it's useful. And I think a lot of people are gonna be taking advantage of this. It's really an electrician or construction worker's dream. If you're on a farm and you need to go out and repair fence posts, well, you don't have to have all battery operated tools. You can now just have the cheaper electrical tools that connect right into your truck. Not just the bed of the truck with being able to get up to a 7.2 watt kilowatt or 7200 watt generator on the truck that's brand new. The interior is brand new. Now we have 14 inch screen. We have behind the steering wheel you get this wonderful touch. Uh, it's not a touch screen sorry it's a digital screen. Uh, with all sorts of new images uh, that are just neat when you turn on the truck and of course the King Ranch you know you feel special every time you open the door because you have that um, electric deploying uh, footstep uh, and what's more is that footstep you can even have it extended so that you have easier access into the bed so you can actually the running boards on every model now you could get extended running board so you don't have to have a big piece of plastic that indents into the bed to have easy access you just need to get the right running board which come out electronically they also not just are extended but come with a button that you could just kick kick the button and you get easy access to your bed so no need to have a big piece of plastic that kind of indents into the body of the truck. And speaking of the body of the truck, Ford has redesigned the back tailgate and the sides of the truck to be more, more aerodynamic. But back to the cool stuff, how neat is this? Now, every time you open the door, that happens too. So that's pretty neat. Let me give you a little uh, walk around of the inside of the vehicle. Stitching on the King Ranch is really nice. Colors are fantastic. You've got King Ranch logos just about everywhere. Now, behind the steering wheel, you have this new screen. Pretty sharp looking. Has an entry and exit cinematic. That's that rattlesnake logo from the King Ranch. That is just about everywhere and the leather I must say is really thick it's soft and you know if you're looking for I call this a country look this is the truck for you if you want more of a city truck you might want to consider a platinum here's that new shifter that I am loving I'm finding that so cool now you can put it down so you can have a work surface, you can set up your laptop and work from there, count your cattle. You 
You got your King Ranch established logo. Now, this truck is amazing, but keep in mind, it's around 65,000 US, and it starts at 75,000 loon backs. This particular model is 85,000 loon backs. It'd probably be about a 70,000 US model. Comes with intelligent automatic 4x4. Brake controllers right there. Now, this isn't new, but it is innovative. You got your pro trailer backup. How this works is when you've got, you know, your stickers and measurements set up on your trailer, if you turn this to the right, your trailer is going to go to the right and the steering wheel is going to turn by itself and go to the left. So that makes backing up real easy. Now, if you're experienced at backing up, you're probably not going to use that. But what you could use it for is you could back up for, you know, heck a mile and the whole time you're backing up the truck is going to make minute adjustments in the steering and you're going to back up for as long as your heart desires in a straight line now i'm pretty decent at backing up i worked on uh, two different farms for many years and i still find it useful when trying to back up in a perfect straight line over a long distance and you know the king ranch has really nice little features like this sort of diamond cut finish you could call it you got a historic building from the king ranch right there these trucks have gotten so sophisticated uh, like this one it could park itself and now to talk about the bang and a Lufsen sound system. I know I'm saying that horrifically wrong, but uh, it's my best uh, best try at it. It's a 19 speaker system and it sounds great. Now in the King Ranch, you even got speakers here in the headrests. And the Bang & Lufsen sound system, B&O, let's call it from now on so I can stop getting tongue cramps. The B&O sound system is available on Lariats and you can even now add it as an option to an XLT 302. That's really neat, the XLT302, I've got a video that I'm gonna be doing on it uh, because it's a real bargain. I'd say it's the value deal. It's a great deal. You're getting LED lights in the front and I'm gonna be covering a video that covers all the new and awesome stuff that comes with that great deal known as an XLT302. And here is that 12 inch touchscreen, which works really quickly really well the voice activation system works great too and well you can always use your apple or android product and um, connect it to the vehicle and speak through that system of course lariats you've got your cooled seats your heated seats heated steering wheel it's pretty neat dual zone temperature charger for the cell phone right here i really like that that's really useful now remember this truck has a 400 watt plug in the back. Now is a really inexpensive option. And you could also get a generator. And in either case, depending if you live in the city, you might come out from work or the store and have someone sipping on a latte, charging their laptop. So you might want to consider getting yourself a bed cover. And if you're out in the country, well, or a work site, you might come out and find someone using your truck to power their tools so consider getting a bed cover ford makes some pretty nice bed covers and they also make some pretty nifty roofs this one's not completely open so let me get that open for you So when you have the best selling truck and actually usually the world's best selling vehicle, I think it's hard to make major changes that are really going to get people uh, and you know reviewers to say, oh my goodness, boy is this ever different. And you know, maybe it's because I'm a bit too much of a fanboy, but I don't want this truck to be a ton different. Now there is a lot that's going on with this truck that is brand new. 
and here are a few of the brand new features on the inside of the truck. There's that nice little sequence. The truck's pretty accommodating. So here you've got uh, your truck modes. Um, you can even have this off-road mode where you see what angle your wheels are at, what angle your truck's at. So if you're off-roading and you know you're, you're you want to make sure you don't slide off a rock or you don't put it, the vehicle at too harsh of an angle, you can observe and watch all that from right here. So that's a great feature. It's not completely innovative to the new model, but it is innovative, and I like it. So from this system, you can also get some you know information off the navigation system your phone the audio you can go into settings so it's a useful screen yeah your off-road settings you can even find out about your tire pressure or seat belts in the vehicle you got your trip your fuel mode looking at fuel economy and this is also the setup which, in which you'd pick out your drive modes, such as, you know, a sport mode or an eco driving mode, a snow mode, slippery, all those various modes that help you get around safely. With the 360 cameras, you also have 360 lighting basically all around the truck. And you can control that right inside from the touchscreen. That's pretty neat. King Ranch comes with massaging seats. You control that with this little button. I've had that on a Lincoln before. It's pretty nice. It's not a hard massage, but it'll definitely keep the blood flowing, keep you awake. And Ford is offering something completely innovative. At least I think it's innovative. I don't think anyone else is doing it. This seat, when you order the, the fold back seat model, it's, it's an option. The seat goes all the way back so you can sleep in the truck. Now that's great. Uh, on a lunch break. That's also great if you're in a lot of trouble for buying a truck this expensive and your wife has you sleeping outside for a little while while everyone cools off. And speaking of cooling off, you don't have to in this truck because you can connect your heater right to the back plugs and that engine power is going to be converted into electricity and you're going to be sitting pretty. Now, for my next video, because uh, I have to wrap this up before I'm not sitting pretty anymore and I'm sleeping outside, I'm going to be do covering this XLT302 Sport. So I'm going to be reviewing it. I'm going to be going over what's new, what's hot. Uh, really want to do a full review, beginning to the end. Now, to put a conclusion in all this, I made this video because people on the internet you know, some of my favorite YouTubers were basically saying that there wasn't a whole lot that was innovative about this truck. Well, I'd say, you know, we covered motors and we found that there was more towing, more power, and more fuel economy. So that's pretty innovative when you can get more power and more fuel economy. Usually you gain in one, you lose in the other. The tailgate is completely new. The, you know, even the frame, which is the same frame, is now new and different because it has a wider stance, giving it a, and the vehicle has a lower center of gravity, and it's the most aerodynamic F-150 ever made. Those folding layout or sleep out seats, that's new, great for those power naps, great for when you're in a whole lot of trouble and you're getting more electrical power. So more work, more tailgating fun, more fun at the cottage, and more fun camping. So overall, I'd say, you know, I give this, you know, truck, I'd, I'd actually say the new model is, you know, a, a nine or a nine and a half out of 10 because, you know, what more new stuff could it have really brought to market? You know, you could say, uh, well, they didn't bring an electric truck to the market, but hey, guess what? That's coming up too, and I look forward to reviewing it when the day it comes out. So stay tuned. Got the XLT302 Sport video coming out, and I'm going to be doing some test drives of the 2.3 liter in a Ranger and also so a 2.7 liter F-150 to kind of give you a ride along and help you pick your Bronco motor. I also want to be going over some real life colors. So, you know, under natural light, what the F-150 colors, sorry, the Bronco colors coming up look like on either Rangers, F-150s, or Explorers. 
to help you pick out your brand gold color. So if this has been useful, please like and subscribe and see you again soon.